Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In last tutorial, we have seen how to get all the LDAP user. So in this tutorial, we are going to find a user on the basis of UID. So what you can do, just you can open your REST controller class and just copy this existing API. Here we need to create a new API that will just return one user detail on the basis of UID. Let's rename as get user by UID. Here we no need to return list of LDAP user. So just remove this one. and we need to pass here UID so we can get the LDAP user detail. So we need to pass here UID as a path variable. A string UID. Copy this one and we'll try to pass here UID. Now, if you remember, we are using here LDAP service class. And this class is containing all the LDAP operations. So what we can do, just copy this one. So in last tutorial, we have created this function. What this function was doing actually, here we are using LDAP template dot search function and here we are passing our base DN. So if you see here, O equal to user comma O equal to system. And currently our all the user inside here, O equal to user and O equal to system. You can see here base DN. So in last time we have passed here object class equal to inet org person because we have to get all the user details. So you can see here object class equal to inet org person. But now we need to pass here UID. So what we can do? Just come here and change as a UID. And here we'll try to pass the UID as a dynamic. Let's try to pass UID here. So we have our base DN, we have our UID and currently it will return here list of LDAP user. But we no need to return here list of LDAP user because in our scenario we just need to return only one LDAP user. So just try to change the return type. Now what we can do just use here list of LDAP user and object name will be here user details equal to let's remove this one. So currently it will try to return here list of LDAP user so what i can do here if it will match with any uid we will definitely get one value so we can do one thing here if user details size is greater than zero then just return user details dot get zero index that means we'll try to return only the first index value else just we'll try to return here null so our function is ready this is our controller so currently we have to call this function so if you see here, we are just passing UID on the path variable. Now what will be happen? Let's try to change this one. So here we will get our UID and we are doing one search operation and we are trying to return here CN, SN, username, password. You can see currently I'm using four variable. You can please cross check if you are having less variable and you are trying to access some variable that is not defined, then definitely you'll get an error. So let's stop the server. And again, try to run. Copy this one. Try to log in and just pass here UID as a true. So you can see we are getting value here UID 2. That means CN equal to RIA. So let's try to cross verify. So you can see here UID 2. That means CN equal to RIA, SN equal to Kumari, UID equal to 2, and user password. This is currently encrypted password. So currently it's working fine. Let's try to change as a one so you can see one that means ram and uid3 correct it is working perfectly i hope this video is going to help you to understand how to get user by uid that's it for the day bye